Near and loving God, we thank you for the achievements of the 2021 graduating class of Fordham's Gabelli School of Business. They have successfully completed their advanced degrees in a most stress-filled time in our history. As we celebrate their achievements, we pray that you bless them and all those who have helped them to come to this day, especially their parents and spouses, as well as their friends, mentors, and colleagues. Grant these graduates that success in the work they do, which would well sustain them and help them to support their loved ones and those dependent upon them. Grant also that they might set a high ethical standard in their professional work that acknowledges the roles of honesty and justice in business. In addition, give them that success which would generate wealth in the service of the genuine human good of all peoples. We ask this and all things in your holy name, amen. Good afternoon. It is my honor to introduce our national anthem singer, who is a Gabelli School of Business alumnus. Mina Grice earned his MBA from Fordham in 2013. Mina once placed among the top 100 finalists on American Idol. And today we have the honor of him singing for us. Please join me in welcoming Mina. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last Gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? I am truly honored and humbled to be a student speaker on behalf of the class of 2021. I would like to welcome and thank our wonderful faculty and administrators for your support and guidance throughout our journey. To our beloved family and friends, thank you for your constant love, encouragement, and unwavering support. We're truly blessed to have you. We couldn't have done it without you. On a personal note, I would like to thank my ever supportive husband, Kenny, for always believing in me and for being my loudest cheerleader. And to my children, Timmy, Alyssa, and Alexis, thank you for jumping on a plane and crossing the Atlantic to go on this adventure with me. I especially want to thank Dean Rappaccioli. Being a recipient of the Dean Scholarship definitely made it easier to attend Fordham. I also had the pleasure of working alongside a wonderful team of administrators in the Graduate Advising Office, Kate Kennan, Lonnie Kissen, and Ilza Fresson. Thank you for the opportunity to work with you and to see the wonderful work you do behind the scenes. I would also like to thank Professor Najad. It was a pleasure working with you and also learning from you. I remember walking through the doors of Lincoln Center for the first time nervous and uncertain at what my experience will be. 
especially as an international student. The warm welcome and smiling faces from faculty, administrators and students quickly turned my anxiety to excitement as I immediately became a part of the Fordham family. At Gabelli, we learned the true meaning of service to others, which was built into every action, thought and interaction. Every day was a new opportunity to experience the spirit of Gabelli. Seeing fellow students selflessly supporting one another emotionally, academically and professionally with the sole purpose of ensuring everyone succeeds in their journey. Friendships were formed in and out of classrooms and friends immediately became family. Students from different professional backgrounds, countries and cultures came together to create unforgettable memories and expanded their professional and personal network. We learned key leadership principles and stepped up as leaders, despite all the challenges in the past year. These learnings have positively impacted us in and out of Gabelli. It is undeniable that the past year has been challenging and most of us didn't get to enjoy the full experience we had hoped for. And our euphoria of being on the Gabelli campus was also short-lived. However, it's been amazing how we creatively stay connected and maintain our spirit of togetherness while being apart. From Zoom classes and remote collaborations on team projects, to virtual networking and career sessions, and virtual movie hangouts, baking classes, reading clubs, and many others. Many of us embarked on our job search journey with all the uncertainty around us, and being an international student also brought its fair share of challenges. We were however blessed to have fellow students faculty, administrators and alumni support us at every step by offering career advice, referrals, references, coaching and even practicing for interviews. We have grown to be resilient and determined as we have navigated this journey which has no doubt resulted in continuous success stories. I am proud to be a member of this community and to be a part of a success story. I have hoped for one last time to be back on campus as a student, walking along the hallways, hanging out with my friends at Agoti or studying at the library. This unfortunately never happened, but I know I will be back to see our wonderful faculty and administrators and to also give back in every way that I can. To my classmates, thank you for being part of my journey at Gabelli. I will forever treasure the friendships I formed in my time here. I hope we all continue to surround ourselves with the meaningful relationships we've formed and continue to relieve the great experiences that have shaped us. I look forward to seeing all our successes as we all proudly represent Fordham. Thank you. And congratulations to the class of 2021. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody joining in today. I'd like to start off by thanking the people that made it possible for us to be here. The faculty, administrators, our families, our mentors, and our friends. I am truly honored to have the privilege of speaking to you today. It took me a while to figure out how I could sum up these last two years. I try to pen down my thoughts for this speech to give us some closure, but I realized this is merely another beginning to our journey ahead. When you leave here, don't forget why you came. This quote resonates with us because the decision to pursue a professional degree isn't an easy one. To give up a career, to give up stability, and for some traveling halfway across the world to obtain quality education is no small feat. We had the desire to learn, do better and build a bright future. But during that process, we got so much more. We built a community, we made true connections, and we truly understood the meaning of business with purpose. Our grad school experience wasn't anything like what we imagined it would be. We had to treat Zoom like the best friend we never had. We made the phrase, can you hear me now? 
part of our daily vocabulary and shed a tear every time we saw a new meeting invite on our calendars. My friends, the struggle has been real. Our batch has been unique in so many ways and through all those challenges thrown at you, you never gave up. The willpower and determination you have showcased is second to none. To our loved ones, your unwavering support is what we needed. And to our dear faculty, your guidance and mentorship is why we succeeded. To my student council and all the student clubs, you have motivated and engaged the student body in so many creative ways. And I am humbled and grateful to have had the opportunity to lead and work with you. It was my dad's dream to see his sons become graduates and I cannot end this speech without thanking my mom for making it happen and my brother for giving me the strength that I needed. My fellow classmates, wherever you go, go with all your heart and in that process, help build a better society for our present and our future. And with that, I congratulate the graduating class of 2021 we did it and from here on out the only way is up thank you so much hello and welcome to everyone who's joining us today for our virtual gabelli school diploma ceremony families and friends from around the world fordham alumni and most importantly our graduating class of 2021 this class is special because it includes the greatest range of degree recipients in the school's history. Three forms of the MBA, full-time, professional, and executive. Eleven Master of Science programs, including our first two fully online MS programs. And for the first time, our two doctoral programs, the PhD, and the Doctor of Professional Studies, which both are developing the next generation of scholars and teachers. This graduating class has so many noteworthy traits. You persist in the face of adversity, triumphantly closing out perhaps the most unusual year in the Gabelli School history. You innovate seeking opportunities in a changing economy, finding value in remote coursework, collaborating in online groups, mirroring the corporate world more accurately than ever. You care, building connections with classmates and looking out for one another. And you buck trends. What makes me say that? A recent Microsoft survey found that more than 40% of workers around the world were thinking about leaving their jobs this year. And here you are looking for and getting jobs. As ambitious, focused, and high achieving people, the idea of tens of thousands of professionals abandoning their jobs may sound a bit strange to you. They're leaving their jobs for a variety of reasons. For some, I suspect, the pandemic has shined a light on the lack of balance in their lives and made them realize that we can have rewarding careers and accomplish great things without these sacrifices. We may just need to be a little creative. I read a story in the New York Times about a lawyer named Brett Williams. He was miserable after 10 hours a day, every day on Zoom sessions with clients. He walked away from a partner position in Orlando and the salary that came with it and took a job with his next door neighbor's small law practice. I'm still a lawyer, Brett said proudly, but I haven't been this excited to go to work in a long time. Just last month, CNBC profiled a woman named Jessica Kriegel.
Jessica never sought out a top HR leadership role at her company, the software giant Oracle, because moving up meant that she would be in the office nearly all the time. But this spring, after nine years, she left to become the chief people and culture officer of the customer service company, experience.com. One of the reasons she accepted the role is that her new C-suite job can be done entirely from home. The takeaways from Jessica and Brett, that we are better contributors when we seek out work that works for us. Of course, this isn't a new idea. A glass door review of research in 2017 highlighted six studies among hundreds that showed that satisfied professionals drove better performance for their firms. Companies have recognized this fact and have tried to keep up, offering perks and increasing flexibility. But what's different today is that people are finding the courage and the passion to do something that they had previously feared. Making a truly bold change in what work looks like. One of the hallmarks of a Fordham education is the value of questioning everything, taking nothing for granted. So as you leave the Gabelli School, take that spirit of inquiry and apply it to work itself. Ask whether things have to be the way they are. Chances are pretty good that the answer is no. Ask whether there's a better approach. Push the envelope. Look for ways to extend what might appear to be boundaries. This is what leads to innovation. Innovation isn't just important in products and services. It's crucial in defining the future of business, including what your day-to-day -day looks like. So have the courage and the passion to reinvent the way we do things. Reinvent your workday, reinvent yourselves. In so many ways, the future of business is truly up to you. I look forward to seeing the paths that each of you take as you leave the Gabelli School. You may change your past once, twice, or six times. Be open and inventive about where it may take you. And make sure it leads you back to Fordham, at least once in a while. I hope to see you at alumni events, as future guest speakers in classes, and as informal visitors to campus. On behalf of everyone at the Gabelli School, Congratulations on your achievements and best wishes in the years to come. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It's clearly it's been a challenging time. You have focused, you've driven, you've succeeded. And I want to congratulate you as you prepare for the next phase of your career. Stay focused, stay driven and congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce Fran Horowitz, CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch Company and a Fordham MBA alumna, class of 1990. Welcome, Fran. Hello, graduates. I am honored to be here with you today, and I would like to give a big thank you to Dean Rapicioli and to all of you for allowing me to share in your celebration. Getting an MBA requires hard work, dedication, and perseverance in any environment. But over this past year, you have also had to overcome adversity and find inner strength and resolve that you may not even know you had and which will serve you well in the future. Please take a moment to applaud yourselves. As you look ahead, many of you will take this degree and accelerate your current course, while others will embark on a new path. Both are incredibly exciting as they fill you with renewed vigor, education, and experiences. I know this for certain because I have been in your shoes. 
Let me tell you a bit about myself and how this native New Yorker with a major in international affairs from Lafayette College and an MBA from Gabelli ended up in Columbus, Ohio as the CEO of a publicly traded global retailer. A job that when I pursued my MBA was not necessarily at the top of my list. That obviously changed and I owe that to my time at Gabelli and the great professors and peers who supported me and opened my eyes to so many possibilities. The community and relationships that I fostered have guided me throughout my career, defining my role as a future executive as I am sure they will for you. They empowered me to face challenges head on, including perceived setbacks, and thoughtfully use those to move forward. So let's go back to the beginning. My first job post-college was in the merchant training program at Saks Fifth Avenue. I was at the bottom of the totem pole in a male-dominated industry. The hours were grueling, and to be honest, the pay was not great. But I loved fashion, I was in my element, and it was my dream job, everything I had been working towards. It was a flat structure, so I gained exposure to many talented people, and I used that to my advantage, absorbing everything that I could. I was emboldened, maybe too emboldened at times, but quickly learned a few very important lessons. To be humble, that feedback is always a gift, even when it stings, and that there was a lot I did not know, all things that I've taken to heart my entire career. I also realized that to move ahead and become a head merchant, which was my dream, that I needed the financial acumen to match my passion for retail. And as many of you can imagine, getting an MBA was not considered the obvious next step. In full disclosure, there were many actually who discouraged me to do so, but I stuck to my guns and trusted my gut and took what many thought to be a big risk, and I have never looked back. I attended Gabelli at night for three and a half years, not an easy task, but one that drove discipline, organization, and endless planning. At the time, my then boyfriend Michael was living in Boston and I was in New York City, and I took that 10-hour round-trip train ride to Boston almost every weekend to visit him, using the time to get a lot of homework done. As a matter of fact, I credit both Michael and Amtrak as partners in the successful pursuit of my MBA. And I'm happy to share that Michael and I have been married for 30 years and have two amazing children. Abby works at Group 9 in New York City and just got engaged, while Matt is following in my footsteps, having joined the Bloomingdales in their training program. So that's a little bit about me, my family, and my path to get my MBA. But let's talk about what happened after I graduated. Following Saks, I continued to pursue my passion and work in retail. By 40, I was a Vice President Divisional Merchandise Manager at Bloomingdale's and realized that I needed to make a change if I wanted to advance my career. I picked up my family and moved from New York to the great state of Ohio, which was definitely a culture shock to take a job at Express. Working my way up at Express with Eddie Ann Taylor before being presented with the opportunity of a lifetime to serve as the Hollister brand president at Abercrombie & Fitchco a role that was immediately attractive to me because of the chance to reinvent a global, iconic brand. I had the reputation of being a fixer, so this was right up my alley. After three years of working harder than I ever had, I became CEO. And I tell you all of this because I firmly believe that the financial and leadership skills that I learned at Cabelli and everything I went through during all those career moves, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and trust me, a lot of challenges along the way got me to where I am today. When Dean Rebicholi asked me to deliver a commencement speech, I was both honored and nervous. As I wanted to provide thoughts and advice you would find worthwhile. While you'll all have your own unique stories and battle scars, there are a few rules that I live by that I think are applicable to any situation. So here goes. Do what you love. While there will always be some aspects of your job that you don't enjoy, take a holistic view with your eye on the long-term prize. Treat everyone with respect. Make eye contact and say hello. Being open and friendly is as important as being a hard worker. Challenge yourself and take risks. Tasks that are the most difficult are often the most rewarding. My, big, my biggest risk moving to Hollister when many said I could not revive the brand yielded the biggest reward. 
Raise your hand and be a team player. Know your partners across the organization. It feels good to help others, and it will come back in spades as you never know where and when you may need support. Find a mentor. I am lucky to have a great mentor who has supported me throughout my career. While that's rare, you should try to find an ally during each phase of your journey. Accept that you can't do it all. Be flexible and trust and empower your peers and direct reports. Don't beat yourself up. You're not always going to get it right and you're not going to win all the battles. It's okay to briefly wallow, but then dust off, get back at it, and don't let those failures, failures get the best of you. Be your own biggest advocate. You can't assume your boss knows what you are doing. Tell them at the appropriate time. And perhaps most importantly, remain humble and realize that we all need support both personally and professionally. These have served me incredibly well in the face of my many unexpected challenges, including the biggest one of my career, navigating this past year. As a CEO managing a global company, the pandemic gave me two choices. Hunker down into survival mode or use the crisis as an opportunity to drive positive change. I chose the latter. Very early in 2020, we closed our APEC stores and offices. And then in mid-March, we shuttered the remainder of our global store base, losing 70% of our revenue overnight. A scary and challenging moment. At that time, we created a COVID-19 playbook that inspected every line on our P&L and kept us close and engaged with our customers. As we closed all of our stores, we also transitioned to working virtually, which was perhaps even more daunting. As a leader, I take pride in being accessible. That is a non-negotiable. In a normal environment, I go to our cafe for lunch or coffee every day. I love the opportunity to talk to associates and foster an open environment where constructive dialogue is not only encouraged, but it's cherished. While the venue for those conversations suddenly changed, my commitment to being approachable did not. Over the last year, I've had my video on for all Zoom and Teams calls, and I read all the comments posted in the chats, remaining focused on what matters, the most listening and learning. And that has proven invaluable and has allowed us to continue to successfully execute to our top priorities. Through it all, I have encouraged our teams to be calm, positive, and forge ahead, and to always apply our leadership standards, which include stay curious, push boundaries, and aim high. But what do these mean? Stay curious, don't accept the first answer. Ask more questions and make sure you seek the right solutions. The fact that you've all made it this far tells me you're already down that path, but always keep it in mind. Staying curious enabled Abercrombie to not only survive, but thrive during a time when others were challenged. Push boundaries, don't accept the status quo. Know there's always more out there. When you feel you've reached the pinnacle, dig deep and shoot higher. The prospect of losing 70% of our revenues when stores closed was unacceptable. We quickly pivoted and found new ways to cater to our customers and drive business forward, accomplishing in one year what we thought would have taken five. And lastly, aim high. Don't settle for just enough. Do more than is expected and hold yourself to the highest standards. In 2020, we could have succumbed to the crisis and done the minimum to keep ourselves afloat. Instead, we use it as an opportunity to work stronger, smarter, and faster than ever before. Now it's your turn to build on your experience and to get even stronger, smarter, and faster. As you head out to conquer the world, I have one last piece of advice. Stay balanced. Balance is my favorite word. It makes us well-rounded and better critical thinkers. Even when it seems impossible, find time to step away from your desk to make meaningful memories with your friends and loved ones. Having balance provides the perspective and foundation needed to be successful. I'm so fortunate to have been part of today's celebration and hope you will all have the opportunity to share your own words of wisdom with the next generation of business leaders. Thank you again. I can't wait to see what you all accomplish. For more than 100 years, the Gabani School has been engaged in business education, preparing our global business leaders, entrepreneurs, and change makers. 
This year is a special one in our history, as we celebrate the achievements of the Gabani School's first PhD graduate, as well as the Gabani School's Doctor of Professional Studies graduates. Doctoral graduates, your work at the Gabani School has advanced the Gabani School's mission in research, teaching, and the public service. Now we're counting on you to continue that work, to share with others what you've learned here, to take on the challenges that we face as a society, and to succeed. As you go out into the world, you will carry Fordham University's standard of excellence with you. Today, we gather here to share in the joy and the pride of the doctoral degrees being conferred on this group of scholars. I will now recognize our PhD graduate and his field of study, Joseph McCartney, Accounting. Next, I will recognize our DPS graduates and their fields of study, Changzhen New, New Changzhen, Business Economics, Shao Wei Shen, Shen Shao Wei, Financial Economics, Dong Shi, Shi Dong, Entrepreneurship, Li Ming Wang, Wan Li Ming, Marketing Analytics, Hai Shan Wang, Wang Hai Shan, Operations Management, Jie Zhang, Zhang Jie, Business Psychology, Ming Ming Zhu, Zhu Ming Ming, Human Resource Management. On behalf of the Gabani School of Business at Fordham University, congratulations to our PhD and DPS graduates. The next part of our program is a part that many of you have been waiting for, our student awards. It is rewarding to be able to congratulate you. You have been models of academic achievement. You have earned the respect of your professors. We will start the Academic Area Awards, which recognize distinguished academic achievement by MBA and MS students in each of our academic areas. I am pleased to announce the winners of the Accounting and Taxation Academic Area Award. Amanda Catherine Bush, Kylie Wong, Victoria Iannotti. The winners of the Academic Area Award in Communications and Media Management are Samantha Carpino, Haley Elizabeth Gorman, Michaela Ann McDonald. The winners of the Academic Area Award in Finance and Business Economics are Belen Prebish, Ryan Talanikano, Wayne Han Chan. The winners of the Academic Area Award in Information Systems are Winston Lei, Baun Gats Dean, Chowing Bao. Congratulations to all. Next is the Law and Ethics Area Academic Area Award. For the first time in our history, this award is given to an entire class of students for their collective learning. The cohort one class of our full-time MBA is the award recipient. Congratulations and well done. I'm now pleased to announce this year's winners of the Academic Area Award in Leading People and Organizations. They are John Pease, Caroline Lorraine Fehi, Gerhard Gengel, Next, I am happy to recognize students who have earned the Academic Area Award in Marketing. This year's winners are Andrew Gelblet, Curtis Nolan Buckley, Omalala Temitope Kofile. To conclude the Academic Area Awards, I would like to announce the winners of the Strategy and Statistics Area. Wen Jun Song, Caroline Lorraine Fehi, Gerhard Gengel. Congratulations to all and well done. Our next section of awards is program specific awards, beginning with the award for executive MBA excellence. 
please give a round of applause to the recipient, Patrick Williams. The next award is a full-time cohort MBA excellence award. Congratulations to the awards recipient, Kanval Kanvala. The Professional MBA Excellence Award has been given to Andrew Gilmore. The MS Accounting Excellence Award has been awarded to Dominic Gagliostro. Next, I am happy to announce the MS Statistics and Applied Decision-Making Excellence Award has been given to Jinwen Bian. The recipient of the MS Business Analytics Excellence Award is Chunyi B. The MS Information Technology Excellence Award has been given to Zara Megan Jillings. The new MS Management Excellence Award has been awarded to Laura Tesoro. The recipient of the MS Marketing Intelligence Excellence Award is Luisa Texera Batista Dorego. The MS Media Management Excellence Award has been awarded to Fernanda Chenchi Perez. The new MS Strategic Marketing Communications Excellence Award has been awarded to Marlon Martes. I am pleased to announce that the MS Global Finance Excellence Award has been given to Juan Willafraid. The MS in Quantitative Finance Award has been awarded to Kevin Lee. The MS Taxation Excellence Award has been given to Joseph Veneri. To conclude the program-specific awards, the final award is the Entrepreneurship Award, which has been given to Osman Ali Raza. Congratulations to all and well done. Our next section of awards is student voted awards. I'm honored to announce that the recipients of the Graduate Business Student Leadership Award are Belen Prebish and Joelle Yvette Gray Alexander. Congratulations. These next three capstone awards are for students who have gone above and beyond on behalf of the Gabelli School throughout their time here and across many dimensions. First is the Dean's Award for Excellence. This honor is given to a graduate student who has exemplified excellence in his or her academic work and demonstrates great career promise. The winner is John McGill. Next is the Dean's Award for Service. Service is very important to Fordham as a Jesuit institution of learning. This award goes to one or more graduate students who have demonstrated outstanding support of the Gabelli School mission. This year's winner is Anash Ravikumar Iyer. Finally, we have the International Advancement Award. This award is especially important to the graduate level of the Gabelli School because so many of our students come from outside the United States. This award recognizes a graduate student who had advanced the school's mission of sending Fordham out to the world and bringing the world to Fordham. Please join me in congratulating Omalala Temitopek Kofile. Next up are the Exemplar Service Awards. The winners are 32 loyal, passionate students who have gone beyond the call of duty in their student leadership roles.
Congratulations to all our Exemplar Service Award winners. I would now like to recognize the students who have received Dean's List honors. These 67 students have the distinction of having earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average during their graduate business studies at Fordham. Congratulations once again to all of our student winners. I would now like to present awards for our faculty. These awards are informed by a student vote. The Stanley Fuchs Award is named for a former area chair of law and ethics who was a devoted teacher and student advocate. It recognizes true dedication to one's students. The winner is Sertan Kabadai. The Gladys and Henry Crown Award for Faculty Excellence is given to a full-time faculty member whose exceptional performance and dedication to the Gabelli School's ideals warrant special recognition. The winners who tied this year are Bojana Mirzjavska and Sertan Kabadai. Next is the Dean's Award for Faculty Excellence. This award is for an adjunct faculty member whose exceptional performance and dedication to the Gabelli School's ideals warrant special recognition. Our winner is my dear colleague, Lonnie Kusin. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks, Elza. The Gabelli School Graduate Peer Advising Program connects established graduate students with incoming peers to provide support, guidance, and information, and help with their transition to the Gabelli School of Business and for many, New York City. Gabelli School Graduate Peer Advisors have spent their time in this program working with administrators and the Student Advisory Council to collaborate on ideas and represent their Gabelli Graduate Program. I am honored to recognize the graduating Gabelli Graduate School Peer Advisors, they are Irvesh Pravimbai Badani, Amanda Bush, Dante Dupont, Nazi El Shber, Ichi Fu, Alana Galdi, Tassin Rakib Himi, Zarak Khan, Parth Kothia, Jenna Kori, Kevin Lee, Tianchi Lin, Yuhan Liu, Michaela McDonald, Haley McGrin, Siuan Ren, Dovid Zev Rosenbaum, Dana Seach, Priyank Singal, Tia Sisedo, Juan Villafredi, Yuan Wang, Kaylee Wang, and Ranjia Yuan. Congratulations and thank you for all of your hard work on behalf of the school. I will now turn it over to my colleague, Elizabeth Osler, Manager of Enrichment Programs at the Gabelli School of Business to recognize the graduating Thoughtful Leadership Certification recipients. Thanks, Lonnie. Grounded in the Jesuit ethos of Cure Personalis, Care for the Whole Person, the Thoughtful Leadership Certification Program helps students identify their core values and build skill sets to face unexpected challenges with clarity and purpose. I am honored to recognize the graduating Thoughtful Leadership Certification recipients. They are Gregory Ackerman, Angeli Angeli, Kriti 
Aurora, Ulu Wasei Aselu, Elaine T. Bennett, Rowena Bergman, Casey R. Browning, Amanda Bush, Jacqueline Kadigan, Abigail A. Campus, Yesenia Campoverde, Jesse Chan, May Key Chan, Ching Chan Chu, Casey Ann Crawford, Michael Cuff Johnson, Tiffany I. D'Angelo, Naomi Del Rosario, Ansley Dizon, Glib Donov, Ebonique Edwards, Nazi L. Jabir, Kara L. Field, Aaron Frager, Dominic Gagliostro, Xingwan Gao, Jessica M. George, Michael John Dominico, Todd C. Goodwin, Susan Hartman, Daniel Hernandez Cartea, Sarah M. Hines, Yao Hyung, Courtney K. Jackson Garcia, Lu Jiang, Ridana Kamendi, Mohamed Khan, Crystal Knoll, Catherine R. Levis, Hans Hong Lee, Weifan Lin, Tanki Lin, Simon Liu, Shinmu Liu, Michaela McDonald, Haley Magrin, Amanda B. Mahoney, Gabrielle C. Mirage, Ashley B. Marquez, Marlon Martez, John P. McCarthy, Christina L. McDonald, Marissa McDonald, Kenze May, Terry Mitchell, Michael T. Morris, James Mata, John Peace, Joel Y. Ray Alexander, Daniel G. Reisbeck, Jose E. Rodriguez Prats, Judy Rothschild Best, Matthew Ruiz, Chelsea J. Zambula, Gabrielle Saraviano, Ying Xu, Prayanka Singal, Katrina Steven, Joseph O. Suarez, Ming Hong Sun, Arela Saiku, Lara Tesoro, Ron Tian, Vianne P. Teneo, Samuel Valentine, Kevin J. Walters, Wa Zi Wu, Xiao Tang Yang, Kate Young, Xu Ining Young, Xin He Zhang, Quin Yu Zhang, Xiao Zhi Zhang, Wei Zheng, Xiao Zhao, Sarita Zhen, Xiang Zhao. Congratulations, all the recipients of the Thoughtful Leadership Certification and those graduating. Chang Zhang Leo. Shao Wei Shen. Dong Shi. Li Ming Wan. Hai Shan Wang. Jie Zhang. Michael Ming Ming Zhu. Joseph Mikale. Aishetu A. Amara. Jesse Benjamin Arno. Teona Avaliani. Taylor R. Blydenberg. Curtis Nolan Buckley. Charles Lyman Buffin. Tiu Carroll. Wayne Hong Chan. 
Isabella Chiao. Alberto I. Cohen. Allison Costin. Sophie Deschamps. Zhang Ding. Anthony Farrow. Jasmine Foster. Henry Marcelino Franco. Andrew Gelblit. Gerhard P. Gangle. Avnit Guman. Michelle Ayiram Gleiman. Stephanie Ann Getz. Zacharias R. Grobe. Anosh Ayer. Yerhi Yeri John. Kaval Kanvala. Christopher Kosarabadi. Justin Kozlov. Taeko Koyata. Sarah Agnola Lave. Xiao Li. Zhu Jun Lu. Anna Grishella S. Massinon. Costapanos Miliaresis. William W. Miller. Zachary Moseri. Prabjit Singh Mutneja. Ignacio Nauden. Haisa Oliviera Ferreira dos Santos. Akshay S. Pai. Stephanie Ann Parada. Belen Prebish. Richard Rengifo. Herman Rinnan. Nikita Shah. Yasho Vardhan Shaha. Elizabeth Stack. Ethan J. Stadtmauer. Jonathan M. Stern. Alyssa Suzanne Tarashevitz. Ryan L. Tholani Kunel. Matthew Barth Tinkleman. Rocco M. Totino. Mesut Ulu. Daniela Andrina Vasquez. Ying Zhou. Zin Zhao. Bayan Amara. Belma Bakali. Gina Marie Batalina. Stephen A. Bezer. Michael Patrick Capuzzi. Paul Anthony Ciro. Emily Davidson. Jeremy Robert Dowiak. Licia Docton. France Charles Borome and Ama Atangana. Todd Fury. Andrew T. Gilmore. Carolina Golubyevsky. Yasmin Marie Hernandez. Melissa A. Hoffel. Julia Jaffe. Joseph O. Lapper. Christopher Anthony Lavinio. Amanda Levin. 
Katharina Liscano. Rebecca Sarah Markin. Megan K. McDonald. Spencer E. McIntosh. Stephanie Lucia Isabella Milano. Catherine M. Nicholson. Tamar Okaz. Michael R. Peters. Natalie Kiros. Dinora R. Rabines Perez. Patiri Jelani Reed. Selena Songko Reyes. Kyle Alva Richards. Courtney Richardson. Vanessa Rivera. Matthew McGillivray Salmond. Surya Saripali. Melissa Sherman. Andrew J. Spanos. Kenneth M. Zeffler. Claire Catherine Tedesco. Joshua H. Valley. Chris Wall. Aisha Akhtar. Julia H. Ahn. Nicholas D. Avella. Lisa K. Brower. Terry Ann Clarkson. Lauren E. Cole. Anissa DeMarco. David Dix. Michael J. Dwyer. Caroline Fahey. Michael J. Ficano. Michael A. Fiorenza. Aristides E. Flores. Franklin E. Franco. John M. Gary. Katya Gunderson. Marianne Hamra. Daniel L. Hatton. John Michael Hockrig. Mitchell R. Jimenez. Kylie Kimmelman. Eric Latinchit. Abebe Y. Lawrence. David Libert. Stacy McGowan. Joseph B. Napolitano. Eric Newman. Madison K. I. Naoji. Jacqueline Ortuzzo. Gloria Nicole Patterson. Samantha E. Perez. Beatrice B. Picard. Usman Ali Raza. Kyle M. Sala. Linda Santos. Leah Showalter Barker. Otilia Maria Silva Jimenez. Leanne Svoboda. Douglas Walner. Bianca C. White. Patrick R. Williams. Victor E. Yanes. Jose Abreu. Margaret Bygate Aiken. 
Isabella Bree Albani. Danielle R. Anzalone. B.K. Brown. Amanda Bush. Fabiola Alejandra Bustillo. Eileen Cespedes. Zhang Chua Chen. H. John M. Coniardis. Isabella F. Costabile. Casey Ann L. Crawford. Thomas G. Dietzel. David Loxen de Magaba. Ansley Lizelle Dizon. Lu Fawn. Mengkang Feng. Jessica A. Febo. Yan Yu Feng. Matthew J. Fisher. Francis Fortaleza. Alyssa Ann Funk. Dominic A. Gagliostro. Rui Guo. Wenxing Gu. Suzanne Hartman. Yang Hong. Ashwat Ayer. Celine Jiang. Chen Yu Jin. Kaisha Kim. Ian Chong Kuznadi. Nicholas Thomas Lavinio. Jing Lan Li. Jing Xuan Li. Shang Li. Lan Jin Liu. Christina M. Lofaso. Jane Marr. John Malady. Charles M. Mille. Jack M. Melendez. Jenna Palinkovich. Tai Chao Chin. Shuang Chu. Edouard Rivas Espinal. Joseph Spiro Scariano. Ri Ying Shen. Bolin Shen. Brenna E. Slain. Yesel Wong. Kaylee M. Wong. Wa Zai Wu. Shuao Wu. Kate Young. Boyang Yu. Xin Zhong. Chen Zhong. Tianli Zhang. Sarita Zhen. Xiao Yue Zhou. Yi Nan Zhuang. Christopher Berry. Chin Wen Bian. Jun Yin Chen. Birmania Patricia Fermin. Yuki Fu. Heidong Ji. Nancy Guo. Jiafu Huo. 
Madeline Ann Herring. Kuo Jui Ho. Zheng Hao Ho. Junzi Jin. Yan Li. Xiao Liang. Xiao Han Liang. Sung Ru Lin. Jua Lin. Bei Hong Liu. Jia Bei Lu. Nathan Liao. Yi Kong Liu. Huin Luo. Yi Chuan Ma. Julian P. Negron. Siddhartha Nuthulapati. Monica Para. Seraphim Petrov. Ye Zhong Xiao. Meng Yun Shang. Wenjun Song Chao Ying Sun Jian Tong Rizun Trazi Jia Jing Wang Xing Zhu Wang Xu Yan Wang Bai Xin Wang Chen Wu Hao Chen Xie Zi Hao Xu Xing Yong Xie Ting Yun Yan Jin Yi Zhong Yu Feng Chong Abdullah Mtiers Ahmed Reagan Alt Caroline Astrid Emmanuel Arnaud Akshit Aurora Vanessa Asaro Elif Aiden Chiachi Bai Chao Ying Bao Si Song Bei Irvish Pravin Bai Badani Chan Yi Bi Juan Nicols Calle Alejandro Candelario Xi Rong Chao Lu Chen Rui Chi Chen Xin Yu Chen Yan Shao Chao Mark Chirillo Nicholas Clark Dre Dromantin Maximilian Darrington Ting Ding Bao Nok Ding Zulma Doini Cabre Anne Marie Donahue Xin Yi Dao Dante M. Dupont Sagnik Duda Xiao Yu Fu Yuki Fu Chong Di Fu Shang Yuan Guo Xin Huai Gong David George Grofland 
Chong Hue Gu. Jai Tong Guo. Ruoen Guo. Shirin Guo. Saverio Hans. Niels Fabian Hanch Moritzen. Juntao He. Yi Fung Ho. Tasin Rakib Himi. Xuan Ri Hu. Tayani Hu. Yishuan Ji. Jie Shan Jiang. Li Jun Zhang. Chang Hao Qin. Shui Qing Jin. Chang Qing. Crystal Calm. Oakala Kankawendi. Eric Scott Kaufman. Chiang Ke. Zarak Khan. Razak Kosoko. Alisa Kocha. John Joseph Lacey. Kolade Ladapo. Lang Op Cham. Wen Hao Li. Yi Ru Li. Chenui Li. Jae Li. The Tao Li. Mandi Li. Chiao Chiao Li. Yi Hao Li. Hao Jia Li. Chin Kai Liang. Xiao Shi Liao. Jing Shun Lin. Tianyu Lu. Ye Lu. Chang Liu. Kailun Liu. Chi Lin Lu. Yong Lin Lu. Yu Kun Liu. Tianyu Lu. Wei Long. Yinja Lu. Ji Lu Chen Xing Liu Ji Lu Zi Chao Lu Una Mabasik Wan Shan Mao Zhong Hai Mong Nicholas Mercogliano Lloyd Mitchell Carolina Soledad Morales Lauren Mary Murphy Mohammed Fike Nasir Ein Thok Nguyen Haoyan O oh. Ji Yu Oyang Bowen Peng Chloe Platic Isling W Power Rishi Purwar Anyo Chien Sun Shang Yifan Ren 
David E. Reyes Matthew T. Rogers David Zev Rosenbaum Saim Bin Sajad Nicholas Sansoni Hongda Shen Jian Shen Shuizhong Shen Yang Qi Shi Wu Yu Shim Ridi S. Solanki Kuo Song Chin Sui Shuya Sun Minja Sun Xia Song Sun Wenchin Sun Shuya Sun Olha Sferdel Johabet Tejeda Caballero Hao Dan Tien Doigo Torin Ryan A. Waffle Fei Khan Wong Yue Wong Zishi Wang Han Zheng Wong Se Ying Wang Xioya Wang Xiong Ting Wang Yatin Wang Yu Ping Wang Zhang Po Wang Zishi Wang Mark Ward Constantine A. Weiss Timothy Wallis Yilin Wen Gerard Williams Janine Woody Ruo Young Wu Jetai Xie Shang Ru Jin Hai Chao Zhong Xin Yi Zhu Yubo Xie Xiao Xue Xiao Yi Yang Mong Mong Yang Chi Han Yang Wen Chao Yao Yi Shen Yi Kai Chi Ye Yu Hong Yen Muhan Yu Lian Ray Yu Zhou Yu Guan Jia Yuan Bing Wei Zhang Kefan Cha Hong Zhang Jia Chong Shang Jie Feng Zhang Yuquin Zhang Bolun Zhang Yu Qian Zhang Jie Chang Zhuang Hao Yuan Zhao Shen Yang Zhou Hua Sheng Zhu Jing Zhu Xuan Chen Zhu 
Anjali Anjali. Pretty Aurora. Oluasei F. Asaolu. Saif Baro Dalvla. Gianmarco Bartolomucci. Alessandro Battaglia Monterizzi. Giulia Bellavista. Andrea Bertazzoni. Alana Biloka. Borju Birol. Ricardo Lauro Bonomi. Andrea Bozzato. Alessandro Bronchi. Lydia Boldrini. Ching Yi Tsai. Luigi Cardillo. Dario Cavallone. Chu Hong Chen. Su Yu Chen. Wen Hao Chen. Yan Ziwei Chen. Min Ying Cheng. Wei Cheng. Ching Chen Chu. Luca Chiampriello. Neri Kwiku Kuju. Alessandro Colombo. Danielle Cuomo. Matteo Denisi. Nicole Delor. Vincenzo Di Tommaso. Sheen Ray Dong. Tara Dotti. Nazi El Jaber. Yushu Feng. Guadalupe Fernandez Del Valle. Justin Fisher. Salvatore Gambardella. Li Yang Gao. Filippo Garone. Shao Li Ge. Samuel Gersten. Nicholas P. Giordano. Anno Glonti. Chia Yi Gong. Rosavina J. Gonzalez. Pablo Gonzalez Ruiz. Alana H. Green. Luca Guareschi. Gudrat Guliev. Chon Chon Han. Lysier Hao. Shui Hao. Fang He. Demetrius Hormovas. Shangdu Hu. Xin Yi Hu. Bo Huang. Lan Huang. Mu Hui Huang. Sishien Huang. Anusha Jane. Thomas Jensen. Eliza Elena Jetzer. Chiao Chen Jia. Yife Yong. Constantine Kalem Karidis. Michael Kevin Mohammed 
Atar Khan. Wei Jen Kong. Part Kotia. Elizabeth A. Kratke. Yona Kuzmikate. Emmanuel Lamana. Pei Chi Liao. Solen Lukuz. Chin Yo Li. Chun Yi Li. Sa Li. Zakun Li. Wen Shang Li. Xiang Yu Li. Jing Yi Liao. Qing Xi Liao. Lu Liu. Meng Zhao Liu. Meng Qi Lou. Qing Yi Lu. Xin Ke Liao. Zexuan Lao. Rui Pang Lu. Dan Ying Ma. Pietro Antonio Marini. Leonardo Martinelli. Yuan Mong. Salvatore Miranda. Giovan Battista Musto. Avi Nanduani. Tan Huang Tra Nguyen. Julia Panzarella. Massimiliano Parco. Yuhong Pong. Du Chang Pang. Xin Ya Xiao. Chuang Zhang. Wei Chan Chiu. Jen Xu. Ashka Abhishek Shah. Turth K. Shah. Wei Yang Shen. Shiki Shi. Priyank Single. Olha Sferdel. Shinshi Tong. Eduardo Tavani. Ji Tong. Danilo Variale. Christopher F. Viceconte. Juan D. Villafredi. Nicolas Viola. Saida Nasrath Wahid. Juan Ming Wang. Chia Hao Wang. Si Xing Wang. Zion Wang. Zhe Yun Wang. Lionel Williams. Ayan Wu. Xiaoyan Wu. Qingyang Wu. Yue Wu. Zidong Wu. Jia Hao X. Ye Shi. Jian She. Danny Shu. Ling Yu Shu. Jian Shu. Jia Hao Shu. 
Moody Young. Chiao Young. Jing Young. Zhuo Xu Yao. Yi Shen Ye. Dao Ming Yin. Xin Yi Yu. Jimin Yu. Zhuo Ming Yu. Yu Huan Yuan. Ma Hu Zhang. Qin Yu Zhang. Chuang Zhang. Ren Zhang. Shen Ping Zhang. Ya Ting Zhang. Zi Zhu. Zhang Liang Zhao Sanira Zelilova Li Yue Cho Akshit Aurora Elif Aiden Yan Yan Dung Shang Yuan Guo Leron Garrick Ray Huang Zara Jilling Michael William Johnston Jr. Chani Qatar Vincent Lai Mandy Lee Zue Li Shan Yue Lin Earl Lair Zinkai Lu Xinhao Chu Danning Shen Yu Zhou Shen Chishang Shi Ron Tian Wen Wang Raymin Wei and Rui Wu Jai Wei Wu Sehan Yu Yuan Zhang Xie Lu Zhu Jiayu Zhou Rowena Bergmans George William Billu Aaron P. Cameron Abigail A. Campos Yesenia Campoverdi May Ki Chen Andrew Yung Tek Chia Angie Suni Louise Reynolds Dietman Justin Edward Deschart Joseph W. Dunn Nadine R. Flores Aaron A. Frazier Jessica Marie George Michael Gian Domenico Daniel Hernandez Cartea Sarah Hines Courtney K. Jackson Liridona Calmendi Crystal No Ayora Lacaruba Katie Levis Jonathan D. Lumley 
Gabrielle Mirage. John P. McCarthy. James E. McIntosh Jr. Michael Thomas Morrissey. Kayla Morrison. John J. Muller. John Peace. Beatrice Rice. Filippo G. Ricupati. Jose E. Rodriguez Prats. Jean Michel Eric Royal. Chelsea J. Sambula. Aurelia Seku. Alan R. Chesney. Laura Tesoro. Vianney Praxeli Tineo. Jose Emilio A. Vacarcel. Wendy Shong. Nicholas Alexander Adams. Jeanette Addo. Xenia Alexeva. Juan Arospire. Shuayan Bai. Yue Bai Esther Beton Hella Boromesh Justin Butterman Ran Chung Jung Chung Ju Chi Chen Zhao Yu Chen, Zhang Yi Chang, Xunying Chang, Krista B. Cho, Christoph Dedane, Blake Dolan, Roy Chi Dong. John Drillick, Julia Emerson, Fully Feng, Adam French, Carl German, How You Gu, Zewen Gu, Qian. Gui Tiffany Elvin Gins Han Jia Hui Ching Ching Han Xiong Hao Hao Bai He Leah Hickey Fi Hoffman Hong Shen Ho Yu Hui Hu Hui Ting Huang Tian Huang Yi Han Hyung Raven Nicole Huger Carla Jackson Hao Jiang Zahan Jin Hannah Kali Shavan Jenna Maria Corey Omo Lola Tami Tope Kufile Gong Lei Ji Ying Li Xia Ying Li Meng Ying Li Chang Hao Li 
Yao Chin Li. Hong Fei Lin. Shen Yu Lin. Ben Yu Liu. Chi Chi Leo. Yi Chun Lo. Delphine Mason. Niles T. Munch. Ein T. Nguyen. Tomas Nieves. Danielle B. Polizek. Xin Han Chen. Zheng Zhou Zhu. Amanda Marie Redden. Alexandra D. Reese. Zhang Ren. Su Yan Ren. Su Ren. Bing Chi Shang. Wahida M. Shuk. Akancha Singh. Erin Stepka. Alexandra Marie Stevens. Xin Rong Tan. Milin Tong. Xin Chi Tao. Luisa Texera Batista Dorego. Stephen J. Thylen Nussbaum. Saise Tu. Mariana Tesoris. Valentina Valero. Samuel M. Varshiski. Xingyu Wang. Yuan Wang. Lu Ching Wang. Ruo Fang Wang. Shi Hui Wang. Su Rei Wang. Wen Wang. Yu Xuan Wang. Zhang Di Wang. Cha Liang Wang. Xilong Wei. Sheng Hao Wu. Xiao Lei Zi. Shu Xiao Xiong. Ning Xu. Jia Yuan Xu. Shi Qin Xu. Hao Yin Xian. Meng Zhe Yan. Bin Ru Yang. Yuan Jing Yu. Wei Ren Yu. Bu Ye Zhang. Luxi Zhang. Enchi Zhang. Jia Kai Chang. Yu Jian Chang. Xuan Xiao. Qinning Zhao. Shi Chao Zhou. Zhe Bing. Ciao. Manal Abdel Fada. Alexa P. Bestone. Samantha J. Carpino. Brielle Talia Sergio. Fernanda Chenchi Perez. Danielle Marie Coggins. Dan. Xavier Michael Drudge 
Alana M. Gaudi. Jacqueline M. Gonin. Haley Elizabeth Gorman. Zachary Matthew Green. Christopher Guan. Chen Kai Guo. Leonard Kessner. Josefina Kokovic. Vyoja Kotamuju. Zijin Lao. Dong Kit Leong. Hong Chong Li. Yan Lin Li. Wei Fan Lin. Yuhan Leu. And Ren Law. Hila McDonald. Haley Magrin. John McGill. Kevin McSorley. Caitlin Marie Morley. Sarah J. Mounzer. Vasilios Marcos Niamonitakis. Michelle Alexandra Olivo. Morgan M. Pierpont. Antoine M. Portley. Ivan Rott. Taylor E. Rogers. Joan Ronstadt. Amanda Salazar. Dana Olivia Seach. Eve M. Sater. Sun Chon Shen. Yu Shai. Michelle Shipley. Dia H. Cicedo. Yu Ting Tan. Sarah Tornator. Jing Yi Wang. Sishen Wang. Kiwe Wang. Hong Yue Xiao. Chang Yan. Rai Chue Yang. Zhou Yu Yang. Isis M. Young. Ji Bai Yu. Xiao Xie Chang. Kai Yu Zhang. Wan Ying Zhang. Wei Ao Zhu. Sri Ram Chandra Shaker. Xiao Yu Dong. Gleb Denayev. Hongfei Gu. Jin Xiang Gong. Jun Peng Gong. Xia Guo. Siji Ho. Yao Huang. Guo Yi Jiang. Lu Zhang. Xia Xin Kuo. Xin Ren Li. Tian Chi Lin. An Si Lo. Simin Liu. Sin Lu Liu. Zishun Lu. Nanan Ma. Roy Min Ma. 
Shin Se Mei. Shi Yen Mai. Hui Tong Nguyen. Xu Wen Peng. Doming Shan. Yula Shen. Xin Yu Jerry Shi. Ying Shu. Ming Han Sun. Tao San. Kaizen Tan. Shane Ran Tian. Mon Chi Wang. Chowan Wu. Da Chu. Huan Shu. Vivek Yardlapali. Jing Tao Yang. Xiao Tong Yang. Deva Vrata Manoj Yargop. Hongle Yu. Howe Yuan. Shui Ning Yuan. Honchi Chong. Lan Si Shang. Chin Ying Chang. Chen Zhu Zhang. Xiao Zhi Zhang. Wei Zhang. Yu Jai Chang. Zhou Zhao. Tian Yu Zhang. Yue Shi Zhang. Xiang Zhou. Xiao Tian Shu. Sheng Chang. Yu Wei Simon Shu. Sean Jin Eugene Lam Kevin Lee Yimin Lee Yixin Lee Pei Chie Mao Zoheb M. Muniz Benjamin W. Rutan Daria Tikonova Yuchen Wu Huan Yu Yang Yunfan Zhang Robert Crawford Boyd Jia Lun Lo Gregory Ackerman Nadia Afzo Catherine Marie Andes Lismaris Montano Ariza Krishna Baker Patrick J. Barrett Elaine T. Bennett Doug Bennett Casey Robert Browning Jacqueline Cadogan Sharina Simone Cadwell Ashley A. Carter Jamila Carmichael Carey Sylvia Chu Michael Cuff Johnson Tiffany I. D'Angelo Nomi Hockberg Ebonique F. Edwards Cara L. Field 
Aaron Freilich, Anna A. Gonzalez, Todd C. Goodwin, Amy Harkle Road, Matthew Lara, Andrew M. Lemarquand, Amanda Mahoney. Ashley Brito Marquez. Marlene Martez. Bridget Patricia Martin. Christina Lee McDonald. Marissa McDonald. Terry J. Mitchell. Alana Sofia Solimene Morales. James J. Moda. Russell F. Nathan. Tyler Ozcon. Jasmine Pastor. Rebecca Putman. Joel Yvette Ray Alexander. Daniel Reisbeck. Catherine J. Recchio. Corey B. Rossnagel. Judy Rothschild Best. Matthew R. Ruiz. Gabrielle Severiano. Katrina Steven. Justin Suarez. Samuel Valentine. Kevin Jonathan Walters. Antoinette Warren. Jared Williams. Samuel Adler. Marissa M. Boyano. Jesse Cham. Justin Willard Cohen. Matthew W. Collins. Jared E. Finkel. Kenneth M. Giardina. Victoria Iannotti. Sally Leu. Christopher Messana. Brian P. Murray. Pauline Isabel Mendoza Sanchez. Shayna Jasmine Singh. Natalia Sishodia. Shuya Sun. Jenny Faye Veloso. Joseph Veneri. Antonio M. Vincent Fanconi. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you'll attend your program specific celebrations, whether in person or virtually. As we conclude the ceremony, let's simply call to mind that many members of our community have suffered this year badly from the coronavirus, from racial injustice and violence, and from a lot of civil strife. So with these people, especially in our hearts, in solidarity with them, we pray. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good, render to no one evil for evil, but go forth into the world in peace. Strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor all persons, love and serve the Lord or your highest principles rejoicing in the power of the spirit of truth 
and of good. And may the blessing of God and all those you love be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.